everything without offending. So now my mouth is in the jailhouse with cases pending. First Amendment, you replaced it, rigged it, dubbed it down. It's not an option. Some of it I understand. SMT Nation, we back. It is 2.11 in the p.m. And we are testing the Verizon 5G home internet. We've got our standard devices that we've been testing. I want to keep doing the same thing, uh, so keep all things consistent. We have the Samsung Galaxy S22 to the left. We have the iPhone 14 Pro Max in the middle. And then we have the Google Pixel 7. Same sequence, all connected to the Verizon 5G home internet. You'll see it connected there. The same network name, same everything. We got the Galaxy right there. And then there is the home internet and we're all on the Wi-Fi. So there we have it, they're all connected. Let's go ahead and do the testing. We're gonna touch e test each device. And what we're testing is the time of the day. The concerns about fixed wireless access is speeds become compromised during certain times of the day or they're congested. And I've had the service now for a few weeks we did the 6 a.m. test. We did the 9 p.m. test. I got to do the noon test. This is like the uh, the afternoon, so like 2 p.m. The goal was to get as close to 3 o'clock as possible, but this is fine. And then once we finish that, we're going to get you guys a 6 p.m. and then a 9 p.m. and a midnight test as well. Okay, so we've got everything all ready to go here. The first test is completing. And I'm going to go ahead and start the iPhone next as we review this one. All right, so we got 30 on the ping. We got four jitter, 664 loaded download load ping, and then 184 upload load ping, 248 down and 22 up. The promise speeds of 300 down and 20 up is the estimation as the max. So hold it up nicely there. All right, the iPhone is going right now. 33 ping, four jitter, 895 download load ping, and... We got 272 on the down. It looks like about 17 or 18 on the up. All right, so that's good. Let's go ahead and do the Galaxy now. Samsung Galaxy S22. Okay, so um, after this, I think what we'll do is go ahead and test this with a multi-pull test. So testing multiple devices at the same time. And, um, do some 4K video stuff. We'll see how it holds up on devices actually doing things other than speed testing. All right, so the Galaxy with a 32 ping and a 5 jitter, 210 on the down and about 19 or 20 on the up. Good stuff there. 925 on the loaded download ping and then 1560 on the upload. It's pretty extreme. All right, let's go ahead and test the iPhone and the Pixel at the same time. And the Pixel started first. And then the iPhone started second. Got a little surging going on there. All right, so two devices simultaneously. Both have plenty of downlink. The Galaxy looks like, uh, or excuse me, the, the Pixel 7. 52 down as it finishes the test. Started with 20 up. Now it's sharing the bandwidth. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Like 4 megabits, 3 megabits. And then the iPhone, 243 down at about 15 up. As they kind of conclude the testing. So even though I started the Pixel first, uh, most of the bandwidth went to the iPhone. All right, let's do the Galaxy first and then the iPhone second. Let's see how that performs. If it's any different. Anything noticeable about the ping time? Yeah, for some reason, the iPhone, the ping spiked 325. Meanwhile, the Galaxy was at 34, so that's noticeable. Downlink, the Galaxy is at 255 down. And then now the iPhone can kind of catch up, 266. Then the uplink for the Galaxy surged up to like 15, 16, 17. The iPhone's still kind of trying to get some bandwidth there. It's a very interesting and wonky test, isn't it? It's kind of random. Weird. Okay, so now the uplink is back on the iPhone. So 266 down and 12 up. Very, very unusual. All right, and let's do all three at the same time. So we started with the Galaxy, then the iPhone, and then the Pixel. And we'll see if that makes any difference in the experience there. For now, the Galaxy's at 140 on the down. The iPhone's at 170. 
and the pixels at about 13 or 14. Oh, now it's in the 20-ish, maybe 30 range, 40, okay. And then the iPhone's at 11 megabits, 12 megabits up. The Galaxy's trying to get a little bit. It's at like, okay, so now the iPhone finished all the bandwidth, went to the Galaxy. It's at like 17 pixel chugging along, struggling to get some bandwidth, one megabit up. All right, so speed testing, not the greatest situation. Uh, let's see what I can do here. Uh, what I'll do for you guys is I'm going to go ahead and do some stuff. Let's do a video. Let's let's play one of the Sneed Mobile Text videos. Is in 4K, and I know I can set it to 4K. And I'm going to choose the same video for all of them. And I'm going to go to 2160p, and we'll see if it continues to play continuous without being disrupted. Got to make sure we're on 2160 for all of them. So far, so good. That one's playing without disruption. All right, the Pixel, and then the iPhone. That's playing it right now. And I don't see any buffering. And let's do the Galaxy now. And that one. See, like, because they, they all default to 480 or 720. You guys know how the YouTube situation goes. Let's go ahead and put this one to 2160 as well. So now they're all in 2160. And I'm going to put them a little bit closer for the sake of ease and monitoring for any type of disruption. We'll look for the spinning wheel of death to indicate any type of buffering and they're all on 4k and they're all playing just fine so that's three devices on the same wi-fi connection the verizon 5g home internet and three devices all on a 4k video all right i don't know if i've got stats for nerds enabled um maybe we can kind of watch that no that not work I haven't used this in a while, stats for nerds. Maybe I don't have it enabled. Let's see if it does this show. Can't do it on the iPhone. I think it's gotta be in like the developer settings or something, I don't know. Anyways, they're all playing. No issues in the playback. I don't see any buffering. Uh, the pixel's working ahead a little bit. You guys can see the little thing dashing up. So is the, um, so is the iPhone, it's working ahead. The Galaxy's working ahead. That's a that's a good 4K play. They're going. I don't foresee any buffering. They're all working ahead pretty pretty efficiently and effectively. All right, so there's your 2:20 p.m. test, your afternoon test for the Verizon 5G home internet. Three devices, 4K, 2160p playback. There you guys have it. Shout out to Dan 5G Tech. <laughs> Just sent me a tweet or tagged me or something. Appreciate you, Dan. You're the homie. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of the testing. Let me know if you've been using the service, how it's been working and performing for you. Let me know if you've been having any problems. Again, we are in the lower level of the SMTHQ, the performance of the N77 C-band, the 5G for Verizon, 5G UW has been great. The home internet performance has been awesome. I've enjoyed it very much. No slowdowns, no issues yet been quite enjoyable big recommend from the smt so far anyways comment down below you all the voice of the people the smt nation let your voice be heard like share subscribe for more turn on the bell notification icon to never miss an upload big shout out to my youtube members and my patron supporters all the goats thanks for supporting me on those platforms and making content on this channel possible all the goats and everybody for watching thank you we shall see you soon on the next one peace